Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. So I don't know if you follow boxing, but I do a little bit. And there's an upcoming fight this weekend, actually uh, Saturday night. It's at the MGM in Las Vegas, and it's between Vasily Lemachenko and Teofimo Lopez. Now, if you're not into boxing, you might not have heard of that first name, but you should have, because Lomachenko is something really quite special. He's regarded by many as the world's pound for pound best boxer. His skills are not quite human. Here's a few highlights. From a young age, he was trained by his father in a very non-traditional way. So for example, when he was a child, his father took him out of the boxing gym and he wouldn't let him train there for years. Instead, he had him go and learn dancing. You see, boxing is all about footwork and he wanted his son to have superb footwork, hence the dancing. Even to the untrained eye, you can see his grounding and footwork paid off when you watch him effortlessly move around his opponents before they even realize what's going on. He makes them look slow and lead-footed in comparison. Now, his father also incorporated a lot of speed reaction games into his training. Games which, on the surface, they don't appear to have anything to do with boxing, but they're done to sharpen his reflexes and shave off microseconds on his reaction times. This father-son duo has been an unbeatable combination for many years, and at the age of 32, Lomachenko has experience on his side. In boxing, he's getting to be older now. He's getting closer towards the end of his career. Now, his opponent, Teofimo Lopez, he's 23 years old. He's just at the start of his career. He's also training under his father, but they're not quite as in sync as Lomachenko and his father. But Lopez has power and youth on his side. Now, personally, I think that Lomachenko is going to win. Now, if you watch the fight tonight, you'll know whether I was right or wrong. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about experience versus youth which is better in the workplace which is better in your career where should the value be so let's start with youth one of the greatest things about youth is it's often blind to its own limitations i have seen 20 year olds fresh out of college with no real work experience no real life experience go on to rapidly accumulate more results in a matter of years than most professionals do in 30 years I've seen that quite a few times. I myself, I had an extremely successful run in my 20s. I was able to do things which, even at the start of my 20s, I didn't think was possible, but a big part of it was I didn't know that I shouldn't be able to do these things. I didn't know what the limitations were supposed to, to be. So I would pick these crazy, ambitious goals and I would just go for them. I would just give it everything I had and, and somehow they would start to become true. The reason for this is youth often doesn't have a concept of what's reasonable or realistic. They haven't yet got the battle scars from making mistakes. And so their ambitions and their frame of reality can be what others might call delusional, but it can also work to their favor. Youth is often able to see new creative ways to solving problems. And I know I'm generalizing a bit here, but if you look at every major tech company which has been innovative, uh, usually the founders and the entire initial founding team, whether they're programmers or whatever their role is, but usually they're in their 20s and 30s. Don't get me wrong, experience is incredibly valuable. And experience is something that you earn by paying your dues over the years and making a lot of mistakes. So those with experience, the good thing about them is they can often handle challenging times with a lot more ease because they've seen similar challenges, similar situations in the past. So they have a, a filing cabinet of solutions and responses in their mind that youth just doesn't have. With each passing year, the more I value the experience side. Now, a big part of the reason why I started Strive is because our trainers 
That's the one thing they all have in common. They've all got a lot of experience. They've all made a lot of mistakes. So their transfer of knowledge to you is designed to make things easier and help you avoid making so many mistakes. Now, of course, you're still gonna make some, but if you absorb their training, it's gonna be less. My goal is to find the very best trainers that we can get in a wide variety of fields who are gifted teachers. And we're beginning to reach out far and wide. We've started finding a lot of them here in Costa Rica, but as soon as this pandemic uh, starts to ease up and travel comes back, I expect that we're gonna have trainers from all over the world coming here to film their courses for Strive and as a member, you're gonna get access to every single one of them. Now, right now we're adding one new course every couple of weeks, but soon I would like to be at four or five every single week. So we've got some, some big ambitions with this, but as a member, keep checking your back office. I just added a brand new course yesterday, in fact, on time and stress management, and it's a really good one. Now, if you're not yet a member and you wanna become a member, there should be a link somewhere below this video, but check it out. When you join Stripe, you're gonna get all of that wisdom and experience from our trainers transferred to you. And it's really gonna help you in your life. So guys, that's it for today. I'm quickly running out of light here, but otherwise I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for your time and your attention. Speak soon.